Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the Vol Ages Hollywood show now here, about to give you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. And this video, before we actually promote Ares up to level 50 Elite X, I want to show you guys a highlight from last night's stream, where we actually countered a Ares that had the Tantu Tome, not with this exact same setup. He had Rasha Will Scimitar and some other gear item with the Tantu Totem, but we were able to counter this gear item. And I really think for a more defensive standpoint, you want to have this setup because it does give Ares a little more survivability, and it will allow you to actually be able to survive if you're taking heavy damage on your Ares because of the layers of invulnerability. So watch the clip, and then we're going to come back for level 50 Elite X Ares. The hour and 40 minutes late. But that's okay, because it'll be live on Twitch and YouTube down the road. So you're a fine stubsy. Two eighty-seven. Six thirty-one is number ten. Yeah, I suspect Tantu Totem is definitely going to help people get uh, level up faster in rankings. It's a good thing because if I need to spam Ares, I can do that. I need to get some augments for him though. All right, we're going to use Two Piece Fourth World and Astro Harness. Most annoying gear setup in the game. Fourth World Mace is on Killer Frost for Power Drain. She also has Tatu Totem. No way to actually heal her except through Black Adam. This actually worked pretty well though. For the first battle we have Bafana 17 with an Ares, Luchador, Bane, and Batgirl. Ares. Oh shit. Well, this is bad. Begin. Wait, I could actually power drain. Uh oh. Well, we swapped though. Well, we dealt with that. That's good. How do you deal with uh, Ares? Throw on Raven. Get out of here. this. Yes! And now you're dead. Get countered, bitch! Out of here! Bet you he's pissed off. Wobbling Panda, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? Good to have you here. Alright, so as you guys saw, two-piece fourth world with Raven along with Astro Harness is super annoying to deal with an Ares. And while you're invulnerable, you can also be using your basic attacks to build up your power. And if you do get a swap with Ares, then you can also eliminate said Ares with a special one, more than likely. So as you can see at level 50 Elite 7, damage is 46,980, health is 65,610. Weapons of War 15,503 to 31,007. Godsmack 46,510 to 93,020. And the Annihilator 116,276 damage. So promoting up to Elite 8, damage goes from 46,980 to 51,678. Health goes from 65,610 to 72,171. So at Elite 8, Weapons of War 17,054 to 34,017. Godsmack 51,161 to 102,322. And the Annihilator 127,903 damage. So promoting up to Elite 9, damage goes from 51,678 to 56,376. Health goes from 72,171 to 78,732. So at Elite 9, Weapons of War 18,604 to 37,208. And as we got... So no, the Weapons of War does way more damage than the Tooltip, so you could actually go League of Assassin, Depth Knives, Ibis Stick, and 
the Tantu Totem, and I think that would work decently well. God Smack 55,812 to 111,624, and the Annihilator 139,531 damage. So going up to Elite X, damage goes from 56,376 to 61,074. Health goes from 78,732 to 85,293. So the Weapons of War at Elite X, 20,154 to 40,309. God Smack, 60,463 to 120,927. And the Annihilator, 151,158 damage. So, this is a defensive gear setup using Tantu Totem. If you want a more offensive gear setup, you can use the 4th World Mace, which will give you area damage and a damage boost to Special 2. Keep in mind, the Blade of the War God does not actually give damage to Special 2. So, can you do more damage with the Blade of the War God, or can you do more damage with the Ibisic? If you're only using Ares for Special 2 damage, you can consider the Ibisic. If you want more overall damage, you can also go Heart of Darkness. Because if an opponent tags out, they'll receive damage. And more than likely, if you're taking a God Smack from Ares, you're going to be doing that. But there is a new gear item that will be coming out in six days called the Master's Death Cart that actually gives area damage to both Special 1 and 2. There is some synergy with the Tantu Totem. There's also synergy with the League of Assassins of Death Knives because that also gives area damage on Special 1. So... I did make a video on the Master's Death Cart, but I will be making a Master's Death Cart revised video from my own account, doing some internal testing as well. So, again, this is the gear setup you want to use on Ares to actually get more overall damage. However, we're also going to be testing out the God Smack and Super Moves using the Ibis Stick as well as the Heart of Darkness. And this is the best setup I currently have for special 2 damage. The Ibis Stick gives 30%. The Heart of Darkness gives 30%. And the 4th World Mace gives a 25% damage boost. I'm pretty sure there is no other gear aim in the game that actually gives a higher damage boost. Except for the Soul Taker Sword with double damage drain. So this gear item has a 50% life drain chance on special 2. And a damage drain from defeated enemies. And this gear item is actually acceptable with Ares. Because if you knock somebody out, you get 15% damage. If you knock another person out, you get 30% damage. And it does give you a heal when you actually use a special 2. Now, obviously, without the Tantu Totem, you're not going to be generating power as quickly. However, the point of Elite X videos is to show off damage done as well. So, we're going to start. Now, I've also heard busted things with Tantu Totem with uh, Hartley Quid, so I'm actually going to test that out. It's going to make damage buffs a little bit easier to do, which is the only reason I'm going to show this off. I'm not going to obviously be using it in multiplayer, but I want to show the capabilities. We're also going to be using Batman, who also gives 25% damage. For female characters, you want to use 600 Wonder Woman, who gives 30% power generation and damage. So the setup with Harley Quinn is you want to have the Tantu Totem. You also want to have... Rosho Glow Scimitar, because you'll instantly start at two bars. And then you want to use the dual 357 revolvers. The idea behind this is you can damage buff and heal into oblivion. Now, if you have burn effects like, for example, the Lex Corp helmet, which is really, you can use two piece Lex Corp, it's definitely useful. You could also use the Ibisnik for burn damage. But for this demonstration, we're going to be using Rosho Glow Scimitar because we want to start at two bars. This is mostly used to get the damage test off quite a bit easier. So in the first matchup, we have Ares, Animated Harley Quinn, and Batman. Now, obviously, for the first defeated opponent, we actually can't test out the damage. Now, this also means... Okay, and there's the power return. It's a little bit late. So we're going to heal. And because we did no damage, it's a power return. What happens when we actually use a bomb? This is not going to knock Ares out. Yep, so you can just infinitely heal. The damage obviously has been done. So basic attack 2382. 3573. I believe that's blocked though. 4674. Now let's get off a of God Smack with Ares. 
fall before Eddie. So 1856. That knocks him out, so there's the double damage rate. Let's get off a of God Smack. 191,607 damage, and that is without crits or augments. So, you can have a God Smack probably hit north of a million damage if you have everything leveled up. 2,553 XP, 1,950 credit. So, you saw the 191,000 damage with the Soul Taker Sword, which is 30% damage. Now let's actually test it out with the 4th World Mace. So again, we're going to do the same demonstration. And yes, Animated Harley Quinn can be used as a healer. You probably want to have a little bit of blocking gear, just so you're not taking too much damage. But yes, the fact that you can use this is just ridiculous. And you're generating power, because the enemy can hit you, and then you gain the power back. So obviously we can't use the top 2 totem with Ares, but let's look at the damage. Area damage for 34,000. Now, if you are using Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, then you can actually power return, and yes, then you can just cause ridiculous amounts of chaos. So we did 34,000 damage, and there's another one. Now let's get Ares up to three bars. Don't mess with the best. But yes, Suicide Squad Harley Quinn has a power gain, which also works. So now let's see how much damage this is using the 4th World Mace versus Soul Taker Sword. It should be slightly less. No, it's actually not. 229,000 damage. So, why did the Soul Taker Sword actually do less damage if it's supposed to drain damage? Does it only work on basic attacks? 3,837 XP, 4,620 credit. Now for our third demonstration. We're going to use the same setup on Ares. Let's use Suicide Squad Hartley Quinn and try the exact same thing we did, trying to land on power. Obviously, we're going to do less damage. That's not the point of this. So we're going to use Tantu Totem, Rasha Will Scimitar to get to three to two bars, and we're going to use the dual 357 revolvers. Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. I actually don't have 10 promotions for Harley Quinn. That's interesting. Okay. So, we're going to try to land on the power generation. I can't guarantee that we're going to do it. There's a damage boost. That's fine. So, there's a slight delay. Again, we land on damage boost. That's okay. And there's power gain. And power gain again. So, Ares is at three bars. I got off a god smack on Lobo. So Sheik Ahmed Habibi is going to get eliminated here. And we're going to chop off the Flash of Dick. So yeah, you can see Suicide Squad Harley Quinn is going to gain serious value from the Tantu Totem. We could also test this out in multiplayer if you guys are curious how it works. 3,845 XP, 4,690 credits. So let's actually go online with this. So we have Ares. I'm going to leave Batgirl in. Actually, no, I'm not. We're going to use Arkham Knight Batman instead of Batgirl. And let's use Suicide Squad Harley Quinn with the same setup. Batman. So with Arkham Knight Batman, I'm going to throw the Ibis stick back Batman. on him. Ares. For Ares, for the fourth world Mace Heart of Darkness, I'm actually going to go two-piece Lectcorp. And I'm going to go Astro Harness to be annoying. Ares. So let's recharge Ares. We're going to do a three battle matchup. I'm going to spend one energy on Ares. Okay, so we should be able to do the combo pretty easily. So in the first matchup we have Lubs going up against Insurgency Batman, Gaslight Batman, Earth to the Flash. Begin. Now, we're going to gain power regardless because of the blink. Now we get a damage boost. We're going to gain more power. Unfortunately, we can't land on that proper. A little bit harder to do. Let's get another bar. There it is. So we got three bars. 
Fortunately, Harley Quinn is going to get eliminated here. So it's not foolproof, and this is why you kind of want to have defensive gear. The Flash is going to get annihilated, however. But we have Arkham Knight Batman. It's not going to block the Guardian Angel. There's no way. It has a burn effect. Gaslight Batman is in trouble. He's going to get annihilated, even resurrected. No chance in hell. And we're going to have to weapons of war on Batman. he will probably survive this, but there's no way he can survive Arkham Knight Batman. The lunge kick doesn't even do any damage, and yeah, down he goes. Because of LexCorp, it's a lot more defensive. So, as you can see right there, when you're running Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, you can make that combo work, and you don't necessarily need Rasha Ghul Scimitar. It'll just let you start at two bars easier. A good combination would probably be to still run the 357 revolvers and use something that'll give you blocking so you can survive hits a little bit easier. In the second battle, we have Swag Power. Going up against Reverse Flash, Arkham Origins, Batman, Arkham Knight, the Arkham Knight. Begin. There's power gain, so Ares is at one bar. Now, obviously, if you have an Elite 7 Harley Quinn, it's going to be a lot easier to do without getting destroyed. Let's get rid of the Flash. So we're going to have the God Smack. We could Sully regenerate. Looks like he did. Still going to do area damage. And it still triggers the unblockable, so now Arkham Knight Batman is just going to annihilate you. First Flash does not heal. Out of time does a little bit of damage. Where were my skulls at, bro? Reverse Flash survived that. Now we can get off a heal. What the hell? Yeah, so again, don't try this on an unpromoted Harley Quinn. It doesn't work as well. Now we're going to have the Annihilator get rid of the Arkham Knight. But generally, you want to use the Tantu Totem on Ares because you're going to get a lot more value out of that with the Ibis Stick and probably Heart of Darkness or the Fourth World Mace is actually viable. 12,480 XP. 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. But as you guys can see, the combination does work with Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and it is the best way to cheese people out in multiplayer. So in the third battle, we have Sanic 30. Going up against Animated Batman Beyond, Arkham Knight, the Arkham Knight, and Killer Frost. This is another good example of value from Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, and we want to start it early. Am I too much for you? I get a damage boost, that's fine. We're gonna blow up, and that's gonna do some damage. Alright, so Killer Frost is tagged in. Gonna get stunned, which is huge. Now let's just use the Arkham Assault and get rid of her. No reason to keep her around. Animated Batman Beyond is back in. Animated Batman Beyond gets skull fucked. Ares at three bars. We're going to have to God Smack. No chance in hell of surviving. So yeah, as you can see, Suicide Squad Hartley Quinn does gain some serious value from the Tantu Totem, which I did not document. 12,480 XP. 8,750 battle points. 7,940 credits. So I'm going to do a couple more demonstrations. We're going to use Batgirl this time. And we are going to use... Let's keep our... Um, let's not keep our Knight Batman in. Let's throw in Gaslight Batman for some annoying Aries. effects. So this is the defensive version of that. Obviously not using Tantu Totem, but now let's use Tantu Totem. Um, we're going to use... Heart of Darkness, because it does power drain. And we're going to use the Blade of the War God. 
The Fortune World Mace is good for area damage. And again, the Master's Death Cart is going to provide that as well. Blade of the War God does do area Let's actually, instead of Heart of Dark, let's go with the Fourth World Mace. A good power drain could go a long way. And I'm not even going to worry about gearing up Gaslight Batman, so we're going to do a single match. And you can see we've actually won defensive match. Not ready for it. Aries. All right, and I think we actually need to tag out. So in the first matchup, we have Arkham Origins, Batman, Mortal Kombat, Scorpion, and Arkham Harley Quinn. We'll have to swap positions. Begin. Art of Deception connects. We took a little damage there with a block breaker. I don't know how Arkham Wars and Batman pulled that off. I'm actually kind of curious. But this is the combo with Ares, and it's obviously super effective. Area damage does play a key because you're going to soften up your other opponents, and it's going to make them easier to go down. 12,480 XP. 5,000 battle points, 900 credits. So how did he have an unblocked... Oh, because of Arkham Harley Quinn. Good play. That's right. All right, so we're going to do one more single matchup. Let's throw in animated Harley Quinn if we can again, just so Ares does more damage. All right, so I'm going to do one more demonstration. We're going to use Batman, Ares, and animated Harley Quinn to do a little bit of extra damage. So I've already put some gear on. I used 2-piece Lex Corp Claw of Horus. Batman. Batman, I don't really care Ares. about gear. And Ares, we're going to use a Tantu Totem with the 4th World Mace and Rosh Ghoul Scimitar. So to prove that you don't need Batgirl to get to three to two bars, we're gonna go find another single matchup. Going up against Killgrave with an Arkham Origins Batman, Arkham Origins Deathstroke, and Arkham Knight Harley Quinn. Begin. Somebody had the mother box. So now we're gonna have the Godsmack on Arkham Origins Batman. He's gonna get wiped out. Arkham Knight Harley Quinn comes in, and because of the area damage, the other guys are getting softened. Ares could have got eliminated there by Arkham Wars and Deathstroke, but we're able to survive. So you can see the sheer dominance, and again, you don't need Batgirl, but I don't recommend using Rosh Ghul Scimitar because you're actually sacrificing stats. So, worst case scenario, you could wait on Ares. Obviously, Ares at two bars is better than Ares, Ares. at one bar, but... Because of the Tantu Totem generating a bar of power on Tagin, you can actually use that to your advantage. So, the Tantu Totem definitely makes Ares a lot more useful. You don't need the Tantu Totem to make Ares viable. But, there's no doubt that Ares is probably one of the top five characters to use Tantu Totem with. For anybody else that is curious about Tantu Totem usage... Um, obviously, Arkham Origins Batman starts at two bars. You can actually put him at three bars now with the Tantu Totem, which was only a feature for a few months in Justice 1. I believe it was deemed too powerful, so they changed it. And then later on, Arkham Knight Batman ended up getting it back. So, Luchador Bane, in my opinion, is a really powerful choice for it because of the bitter taste and feel the pain given a damage boost. Bitter taste is a really strong special, too. Um, Arkham Knight Batgirl probably would make decent use of it because her special one is really devastating. Arkham Knight Batman is one of the strongest special twos in the game, and it's pretty much a single hit beyond the initial contact, so you're not likely to get health swapped with Raven. Dawn of Justice Batman also has a pretty strong special two. Um, Flashpoint Aquaman, uh, Injustice 2 Aquaman are also pretty good candidates. Ken Deck Black Adam does have a strong special two, so it's definitely worth it. Arkham Knight Catwoman has ridiculous dot damage, so it would probably still work as well. And yeah, there's quite a few other characters. Doomsday is a really good choice because he gains health. What better way to annoy people than to gain health and power when you knock somebody out? Pretty good gear item. And obviously you've seen the synergy with Arkham, or with Suicide Squad Harley Quinn. You can generate power and keep your stuff. Obviously, again, Harley with Suicide Quinn. Squad Harley Quinn... Using the Tantu Totem, you probably want to have a blocking gear. I recommend either Sorcerer, Scarecrow's Ventilator Mask, or Fourth World Helmet. Fourth World Helmet will also generate power. And it will also give you a stun on Tagon, which is good if the opponent has power and you need to do something quick. 
If you like this video, showing off Ares at level 50 Elite X, as well as some broken combinations with the Tom Totem, including Suicide Squad Harley Quinn, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Injustice Gods Among Us videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood show now. And it's definitely safe to say Ares did gain some value with the Tantu Totem, as has Harley Quinn. And it goes to show you that Netherrealm does not test these things, or they want those broken synergies in the game. That way people use other cards. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you guys know of any other broken combinations besides Harley Quinn. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!